Okay, thank you very much. My name is Malasa. Today I am gonna be show you the uh, proceeding uh, more uh, tutorial parts of the modeling of uh, this uh, Tony story uh, building uh, using it up to 2016 as per the Ethiopian building code of standard and the European code of standard. So, in the previous uh, tutorial, we have already seen these complete modeling parts of a Tony story building using it after 2016, which starts the definition of the grids up to single, the assigning of assignments to the walls and the slums. So, uh, today uh, we'll be focusing on the a definition of the loads and the continuity parts of a tutorial part 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, if you didn't watch the previous uh, tutorials, uh, uh, starting from tutorial part 1 up to tutorial part 6, you'll not have good understanding on the, uh, the tutorials which will be uh, presented uh, in the next part. So, if you like uh, my uh, channel, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like also uh, all uh, my videos, so don't forget sharing it to your friends. So, your friends will be getting a new uh, updated uh, tutorials which will be released in the uh, next time and even uh, the previous uh, tutorials. Uh, so, if you have comments regarding it all, uh, this, uh, uh, videos uh, and regarding to any structural design of uh, buildings as well as steel structures. So don't forget providing me uh, comments in my comment inbox. Uh, so uh, don't forget also uh, press the bell icon uh, so that you will be getting notification uh, when I uh, upload uh, a new videos regarding to the uh, uh, design of uh, concrete structures as well as steel structures. So now let's proceed to the today's uh, tutorial, so which is uh, tutorial number seven, which will be focusing on the definition of loads. Uh, so here, uh, uh, as uh, you know, there are uh, different types of loads. Uh, the first uh, parts of the load. Uh, uh, which will be applied to our structure is the dead load. So the load by itself, uh, it is the permanent load which will be acting on the, the structures uh, permanently. Thus the loads may be the self weight of the structure or uh, it may be the uh, weight of the uh, walls and the weight of the floor finishing materials and also the weight of the water tanker. If we have a water tanker at the top of the structure here, we have a water tanker here. So this uh, load can be uh, considered as, as a dead load, which contains water inside the tanker. And also we uh, uh, may have a load, uh, that means a dead load regarding to the, uh, uh, you know, here we have uh, the, uh, Epoxy floor finish uh, under the uh, ground floor uh, plunge here, so we can take it as the uh, uh, the dead load. And also, we may have uh, the here uh, we may have the lateral load that means the soil pressure load, which will be acting on the wall, and this can be regarded as also the dead load. Uh, so, uh, and uh, we may have also waterproofing load, that means the light weight concrete uh, may be used at uh, the export surface of the uh, uh, Tesla. Uh, so this waterproofing or light weight concrete load can be considered as a dead load. So all this uh, can be uh, considered as a permanent load or a dead load. And we may have also uh, the uh, the uh, variable loads. So variable loads are nothing but these are uh, you know variable load. We may have a variable load 
we may have a variable load. So this variable load may be the floor live load. The floor live load. Or uh, we may have a roof live load. Or we may have the vehicle live load. Uh, so all this uh, can be considered as a live load. So uh, we will apply all this uh, variable load into our structure. So now let's begin it. So in order to define uh, the loads, now let's go to the, the define menu. Then let's go to the load pattern. So here we have a dead load which uh, has a self weight multiplier of 1. So this the load is uh, it is the self weight of the structure. So we can take as it is. And this is also the live load. So uh, we have to apply uh, the different uh, category of live load as per the uh, Ethiopian Building Code of Standard uh, or the European Code of the standard. So when we come to the Ethiopian building code of standard, or the uh, here we have the live load. All those are considered as uh, the the live load. So here uh, live load means that is the imposed load in a building, uh, starting from category A up to category H, and also we may have. Uh, others load, uh, those uh, loads may be a wind load or uh, the temperature load or the snow load. So uh, we can also incorporate all those loads. So here we can uh, simply uh, copy all those uh, uh, variable loads to our structures and we can take uh, the live load uh, which uh, are associated with our structure as our structure is it is uh, an office uh, area so we can check the floor live load which is regarding or corresponding to this category so here uh, we have uh, uh, all this category that means we can uh, uh, put uh, all the category into our load pattern so just copy this one Down here, just paste it. So this is the live load associated with the office area. So here, the self weight multiplier is at is zero. Now this is modified, and then and we can copy also category. Uh, sorry, the previous one is for residential, and this one is for office building. Here now let me define something about this phi two. So what is phi two? So uh, here this uh, psi two is it is the live load reduction factor that we are going to use during the combination of the gravity load with the seismic load, meaning. Here, uh, the seismic load AE, which is equal to the, the, the dead load, that, that means the gravity load, plus psi 2 times the variable load. Here, this is the seismic load. So the combination of the seismic load equals to the gravity load plus psi 2 times the live load or the variable load. And psi 2, uh, uh, sorry, this one is, that is EI. So, E i, which is equal to psi two times 
5 times Q. So, psi 2 is, it is the livelihood reduction factor. Now, let me show you clearly what it means. Just this one. This one. Here, this is the combination of seismic action with other action. That means uh, the uh, seismic load, the seismic load, which is, that means AE, which equals to, uh, this one is, the gravity load and this one is the coefficient which has to be taken for the combination of the live load and this one is it is the variable load so this phi e j which equals to psi times psi 2 that is 5 times psi 2 and phi 2 is it is 0 0.3 for office building and this one is it is 0 0.8 so this is clearly indicated below now let's see it this one here enough phi is it is 1 for roof and it is 0 0.8 for a story with correlated occupancy. So we can take this value, this value, that is 0 0.8. So our aim is just to define it psi 2. So psi 2 is simply nothing, but it is the live load the reduction factor together with psi coefficient. Uh, so just we can copy as it is to our load pattern. Now let's come to our model. So now copy the category B and side to the first thing. Now add new load. Then we can copy for category C. And we can copy for category D, which is for shopping area. And we can copy category e for storage area. And we can copy also category F for traffic area that means for vehicles which is laser 30 kilo newton this is you know the symbol which is laser and this is a symbol for greater than or equal to so we can copy this one And we can copy also this one. And we can copy for category H, that is for roof, because we may apply roof live load. And we have to apply also the snow, the snow load. So we need to define the variable load related to the snow load. All this can be considered as a variable load. And here we need to also consider the variable load regarding the two wind.
and here we have a temperature load so we need to incorporate also the temperature load whenever it is necessary so all those are the variable load regarding to our structures so here okay now let me come back to the dead load i mean the uh, the permanent load we have already uh, defined the dead load that is the self weight of the structure and now let me define the other permanent load which is the superimposed floor load the wall load the water tank load the soil pressure load the water proofing load so now let me copy it and paste here that is superimposed floor finish load and the type of the load is it is super dead load and the wall load now copy it and paste it so it, it is the type is it is super dead load now add new load Here we have a water tank a lot. Rest it. Here it is a super dead lot. Or uh, that is a new lot. And we will have also soil pressure lot under the uh, ground floor finish. That means on the retaining wall so we need to define it as a permanent load or that is a super the load so here add new load and we will have also it is a waterproofing load which is uh, over the roof so we need to paste it here and here it is a super the load at new load so all those are the variable and the permanent load which will be acting on our structure so here we have already finished the definition of the load pattern so now click ok and we need to also define the seismic load so in the in the uh, next tutorial we will be uh, uh, see how to define the uh, uh, seismic load on our structures so this is all about today's tutorial and if you like this video don't forget uh, to uh, uh, subscribe my channel and don't forget also uh, sharing uh, all my videos to your friends so that your friends will be getting the uh, new or uh, updated uh, tutorials regarding the two this two story building or still structures and also don't forget uh, provide me comments in my commenting box uh, so uh, press the bell icon so that you will be getting uh, uh, the uh, uh, updated uh, uh, tutorials regarding the two the concrete and still structures so for the time being it is uh, all about the definition of the gravity uh, 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 load pattern which will be acting on this 20 story building okay bye bye